Welcome back to the Spirit Guide Daily. Hey, when we're in a collective, we all share energy, and these are timeless messages that will cross your path when they are meant to. We have the Animal Tarot bringing us three predictive cards. Please remember, these readings can also serve as um, intermediate tarot lessons. You do need to have a basic working knowledge. This is the Animal Messenger Oracle deck, and this is the Bird Messenger Oracle deck. Apparently, I just decided we were going to go all the way to the wall with the animal decks today. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get going. What is the energy for the collective? Can you tell me what the energy for the collective is today? Hey guys, before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe because it helps my channel. If you like the reading, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. Let's go. I have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, these particular cards are interesting to get. Now, they're big, so if you're not used to handling decks, they can be a little bit awkward. They do contain a summary of the cards in, on the bottom. The Ace of Cups in reverse is a card of a lack of emotional fulfillment sometimes. It can be giving more than you are receiving in relationships as well. So be a little bit careful with that. We have the Queen of Autumn, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Let's read what the card says. Belgian hair, you will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. Hey, listen, that's cute. It is not actually a good idea to ignore the negative in things because sometimes it means that you're allowing people into your life who don't belong there because you will only see the positive situation. So apply that with discretion, understanding that your mood regulation will benefit from looking for the positive in a situation. So do it in situations, but with people, be a little careful. Because if you are only focusing on the positive of a person, it can actually be something that enables abuse. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is this person who can do it all. The hearth in the home, who has the emotional like wherewithal to withstand all kinds of challenges, but still get everything done. This is a taskmaster energy, somebody who really is like the, 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 master, the master of the one ring circus energy for the Queen of Pentacles. Remember, the kings are the ones that manifest things. The queens are gestating something. They are in a process. The knights are carrying something forward and the pages get things started out of the card cards. And then that comes out with the seven of cups in reverse. Or I'm sorry, the seven of wands in reverse because it's the seven of springs. Um, the summer is the cups, the springs are the wands, the um, winter are going to be the swords, and then the autumn are the pentacles. So the seven of wands in reverse, which is a choose your battles energy, can also be a surrender energy, because the seven of wands in the upright is a card of overcoming. It is taking the high ground, because in the rider weight, the person is wearing two different shoes. It can also be indicating that they were taken unaware by an attack. Um, it can also be a surprise. But in reverse like that, it genuinely is about surrender. So with this particular card combination, a lack of emotional fulfillment would benefit from adhering to a routine that includes something for all areas of your life, not just your practical world, but your emotional world. And then the seven of wands in reverse is also, please try to stop making everything happen. We get very invested in, I'm trying to manifest this, I'm trying to manifest that. Please stop being so hyper-specific in what you're trying to manifest and instead leave it open to the universe to like, please bring me something to make me happy, to make me successful, to make me financially secure. But try not to focus on a particular person, a particular job, a particular place, because sometimes we're blocking things. And that can be the seven of wands in the upright. The seven of wands in reverse is releasing resistance to something that is trying to come to you as well. Um, the interesting vibe of this particular batch, because I've formed form them in batches, is that like people are struggling with that. Well, how can I be happy? I just would like to be happier, but I don't have what I want. It's easy to be happy when you will try and look at your life for what it is rather than what it isn't. And that is one of the best keys to emotional regulation. And it's not a forced thing where you ignore negative things. I'm so glad I still have a home, even if the toilet is overflowing. It's like, it doesn't work that way. It's just to regain your perspective. When they tell you to count your blessings, it is not the same thing as telling you to stop complaining. The reason that saying came into being was that it actually resets your energy. Count what is good in your life and you will have a more positive and hopeful outlook. We have the bearded vulture. Look, oh, let outward deeds and words match inner feelings. Mm. 
Here's what I would say with that one. Take stock of your inner feelings and let your outward deeds match the best remedy for them or the best encouragement for them. If you are sad and you are lonely, maybe let yourself slack off a day. If you are excited and happy, maybe make plans to go and do something spontaneously. One of the things that happens with, and I almost exclusively attract trauma survivors because like energy attracts like energy. One of the problems with trauma survivors is they seek safety in routines. They love to have a plan. They don't like go with the moment. They're not in the flow very easily because it's been how they achieved safety. If you did not grow up around safety ever, or if your safety was yanked away from you in a traumatic event, then you may actually seek your feeling of security in the methods and the means that you employ in your life. And the problem is rigidity blocks things. It doesn't let new things come to you. And then also it's a false sense of security. Sameness is not safety. Sameness is not security. It's just a rut. So allow yourself to sometimes simply do something that was not on your day planner. That you're, you do not need to have your five-year plan if you have found out a way to emotionally regulate and maintain your personal happiness, then five years doesn't matter so much. If in the here and the now you're happy and you don't worry that much about the future. And again, being happy, it can be a challenge, particularly when you've been hurt, particularly when you've been, you've had a great deal of loss or when it feels like a deck is stocked, stacked against you. Here's the thing. Literally everybody feels like they have something that is in their path. Everybody feels a little bit thwarted sometimes. You have that in common. And the lives that you might look at and think other people have better ones, what I was just telling a client the other day is that we, when we envy something in another person, we forget that it's not just that one thing that made up that person's life. Meaning if you envy that one thing, please look at their entire life because that's actually what you wish you had because all of the circumstances that made that particular good thing that you're envying happen did not happen in a vacuum. Please understand everybody has their own struggles and it makes, us, it, makes it easier for us to kind of deal with our own. Ooh, look at that, Scorpion. In a new relationship, passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. So that's a weird one because it is a reminder that, <laughs> hmm. The Seven of Wands energy can be holding people at bay. The surrender energy of the Seven of Wands in reverse is allowing things to come to you as they are meant to. Sometimes as we seek a cessation of pain, people curate their life experience with, I want to be, I don't want to be hurt anymore, so I won't let new experiences in or new people in or the idea of a new relationship in. And this is the, you know, spoiler, guess what? With every single connection that you have, there will eventually be pain. People will accidentally hurt you. Things will not always go well. But in order to get the happiness, the joy, the love, the connection, the experience, the excitement, all of the good things, the abundance, we have to take the risk of, and it might not always be a rose garden, but I'm good at picking weeds. Remember that nothing is perfect. We would not actually appreciate perfect lives. We think we would. We think we would appreciate these really, really easy lives, but here's the thing. It just becomes mundane and the same. What I'm always reminding myself is that my life looks like a Disney movie to a lot of people because I do magic, I do futures. I have like, I have a really amazing experience in life. Does it feel that way from the interior? No, not always, not always. And in fact, there have been a lot of difficult things. That's literally everyone's life, literally everyone's. We have to understand that nothing is only one thing. Nothing is only one thing. You cannot have a connection or an experience that is solely positive and have it endure for lengths of time. Short periods can, going on vacation, it can be just wonderful from start to finish, but it is a uh, encapsulated experience. And those are the only ones that will never have a variation in the way that they land in our lives. In order to have more, sometimes we have to accept that it will come with the occasional sting to remind us of what is good in it. That was a weird one too. Hey, that was Spirit Guide Daily for today. If you want to book me for a private reading, please. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's a link to my website in the description box down below.
hit that thumbs up button. It helps me with the algorithm. And if you, uh, I'm really scattered on that one. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Honest to goodness, I just lost my train of thought so much that I almost no longer possessed language. So that's encouraging. Hey guys, you have a good day. I'll see you next time when hopefully I will have more command of my words. Take care, be well.